what happened to my other videos that were on this channel and a tip on how to grow on YouTube and we also I had but didn't cook power of a rice cooker a short life update a song made by the music artist Jenny DMX and a little something extra at the end for you so I'm gonna be making some fried rice here I washed uh, some fresh ginger cut it up added some butter to a skillet um, turned the hot plate on too high and then I spread the butter out added some fresh ginger cleaned the, up the hot plate a little added some water um, put the lid on and uh, steamed it for a bit uh, then I added some eggs from humanely raised chickens the carton set uh, added some frozen spinach um, and added some uh, leftover rice um, little tip I think it's good to make fried rice with um, rice that isn't fresh um, because it has less moisture I think and moisture um, makes the fried rice not so good so I broke up the rice because it's hard to break it up with a spatula um, then you don't want big chunks of rice I uh, I don't recommend breaking up the rice like uh, I did here um, there's a good chance that you would burn yourself okay so please don't do this I recommend that you break up the rice before you put it in the skillet as it can be uh, difficult for you to break up the rice with a spatula if it already has uh, if it's already in big chunks in the skillet so there it is I added some soy sauce and sriracha to the meal for flavoring. Um, this is a, bit of a weird angle here, as I I cut myself really bad at shaving. I didn't know, or I didn't want to show you uh, all the blood on my face. So the meal was okay. Uh, the fried rice didn't get as dry as I would like it to be, I suppose. Uh, the texture was a bit off. It was uh, not nice and crispy as I feel that uh, fried rice should be. So, now for what happened to my other YouTube videos on, that were on this channel. And there's also a tip for how to grow your channel if you're starting out on YouTube. Um, so you might be wondering where my other videos went. I made a new channel and put them on there. You can find the link for that channel in the description box. I'll mention this in one or maybe two more videos to give people a fair chance to not miss out on those videos if you, if you like them. Um, the reason I did this is because of the CTR and YouTube's algorithm. So YouTube's algorithm recommends your videos to viewers getting you more views. One of the, one thing that affects the algorithm is the CTR. Click th that's click through rate. That's the percentage of people that are shown your video who end up clicking on your video. So the higher the CTR, the more the algorithm works to recommend your videos. You can run into problems when people skip watching your videos. Lowering your CTR and causing the algorithm to recommend your videos less. So the videos that I just removed from this channel and put onto the other channel were of different topics than these videos. The videos on this channel are mainly whispering videos where I'm eating or chewing something. So for instance, I had a review of a coffee maker on this channel. Someone might watch that video and subscribe to my channel. Sounds good, right? The problem is that uh, the subscriber might be interested um, my, sorry, the subscriber might only be interested in, in videos that I make about coffee makers. So then, then, when, I, then when I would post an ASMR gum chewing video, there's a good chance that they wouldn't watch it. Since they didn't watch it, they clicked the right for the new ASMR gum chewing video um, would go down. So that would cause the algorithm to recommend my video less. 
getting me less views. Even ASMR role plays can cause an issue like this. Like the team, the tea shop ASMR role play that I, deal that I made. You might think that ASMR role plays are of the same topic as my Whispering Gumtree video ASMR videos, but not necessarily. There are many kinds of ASMR videos. One kind is tapping videos where the ASM artist, an artist who makes ASMR content, who is performing, doesn't talk, and uh, they tap on different objects. Let me get one here, like this bottle of um, cleaning spray for glasses. They go like this. Okay. Oh, geez, where was I? Okay, so uh, many people love those videos. I myself am not into them, but maybe I haven't given them enough of a chance. So what could happen is the viewer could subscribe to my ASMR roleplay video, thinking that I will publish more ASMR roleplay videos. Maybe she isn't interested in my ASMR come treat videos. So when I publish my ASMR come treat videos, she won't click on them, and it will lower the CTR for those videos, causing YouTube's algorithm to recommend my video less, getting me less views. So, the uh, key to growing a YouTube channel, I think, is to specialize in one type of content, or you could do multiple types of content, but then it would be best to create another YouTube channel, just like I did. By the way, I know that I have some videos that are off topic from whispering eating or whispering chewing videos on this channel, but they're getting uh, less views, so it doesn't matter, I think. I may post uh, new videos on my new channel. Uh, maybe not as an ASMR videos like product reviews, life advice, and uh, etc. And I may post also post more um, ASMR videos that are not me whispering or um, eating, okay, on that channel, new channel. So here's the gum that I'm chewing. Sweet mint, pie five. I think five is a great gum to chew on these videos. It makes a louder sound, I think. Anyway, it's pretty good, good flavor though. Um, what was I gonna say? So, the power of a rice cooker. I would recommend buying a rice cooker if you don't have one. Here's why. The pot is easy to clean. The rice just doesn't stick to it much. If you cook rice from scratch, the pot is often difficult to clean. That's the rice tends to stick to the pot. It is difficult to cook good rice. I once heard a chef say, do you know how difficult it is to cook good rice. It's uh, not necessarily easy. Myself, I don't find it easy to cook good rice from scratch. The rice would often turn out too moist or undercooked. You can rice cooker, you can set it and forget it. I can turn, just turn it on, and then when the rice is finished cooking, it sets, sets itself automatically to warm the rice cooker. So you don't have to worry about starting a fire or something on the stove because you've forgotten that your pot of rice was on the stove. On the stove. Rice cookers are not just for lazy people who don't want to cook rice the hard way from scratch, right? I was working in China and one of my Chinese bosses was helping me cook rice from scratch one day in my apartment. She had suggested that I buy a rice cooker. Many um, Chinese people use rice cookers. So you might think that they eat a lot of rice in China and they must be good at cooking it from scratch. But I'm telling you, many people in China use rice cookers. Um, this is a rice cooker by Panasonic. It's my rice cooker. I went mid-range when it comes to uh, price and, and quality, I think. Um, it makes pretty good rice. 
I don't know if I'm blown away by it, but uh, maybe I'm just being too picky. It's pretty good though. They can cook a lot of rice and quick. That's some bitch. Um, I I think it helps to save money once you get the hang of cooking your rice. Uh, it's so easy, you know, because you can just buy it. You can just buy a giant bag of rice, and it will last you a long time. And it's not that expensive. And rice is a good addition to many types of meals. Here's some meals that I had um, that I did not cook. So here uh, is a donut and a fritter. And I got this from the coffee sh the chain coffee shop, Tim Hortons. I'm not sure if you had that in the U.S. or U.K. or other places wherever you're watching it from. I mean, I'm guessing in like Mexico, I don't have it. Um, so, but we have this in Canada, and uh, so it's an apple fritter on the left, and an old-fashioned donut on the right. Old-fashioned donut, in case you're wondering, I would say it's a donut that has less sugar than other types. It doesn't have a glaze or sprinkles or anything like that. These are really good. Have you tried having an apple fritter with a coffee first thing in the morning? It's a fantastic experience. Here's a have you tried poutine? It's popular in Canada. Very popular. Um, this is a poutine. There are a lot of new poutines coming up nowadays that have bacon on them, sour cream on them, uh, and more types of ingredients. However, a standard poutine is simply your french fries, gravy, and mozzarella cheese. The gravy melts the cheese and makes it really nice. Uh, poutines are awesome. So now for the cheese. Many would say that the best way to do it is to use cheese curds. Um, but it is common to use shredded cheese. Uh, there are cheese curds in this poutine. I prefer cheese curds myself. What do you like? Or have you had a poutine? You like shredded or curds? Anyways. Um, Okay, here, I got this sandwich and birch beer from a little Italian grocery store and deli. Um, this is a smaller company that makes the birch beer, I think, called Boy Boyland Bottling Co. Uh, birch beer is root beer, as far as I can tell. Um, that was pretty good. The sandwich was really good and spicy. I'm not sure what's on there exactly. Um, some kind of meat, pepper, feta cheese, etc. Um, yeah, the, the root beer was good. Um, here I had some blackberries. Fresh blackberries. Always good. So, life update. The washing machine went down. And my, uh, the house that I'm living in, pain in the ass, but whatever, shit happens. A little colder out right now. Um, the snow kind of hurts your face. I find walking down the street, but I almost bit my lip there or something. Um, my job interview keeps getting rescheduled, keeps getting pushed back because of COVID. It's annoying, but what can you do? Shit happens. Um, a lot of all things are not too bad. DMX, um, the rapper DMX died recently. He died on April 9th, 2021. He made some fantastic music. He made gangster rap. Uh, some would say that if you're not a gangster, you couldn't relate to gangster rap. Um, I'm not a gangster, but I've found uh, gangster rap, especially the kind of um, stuff that DMX produced to be very uh, motivational. I really did. And I loved his songs, Rough Riders Anthem. Um, bring your whole crew, party up, and others. Apparently he died of massive cardiac arrest. I've been listening to him since elementary school, I think. He was a leader of the a rap group called Rough Riders. And um, yeah, so uh, I was thinking about reading him. Reading some of his lyrics. I don't know. 
might be a little violent for an ASMR video. It is supposed to be relaxing. So, I won't read any, but um, maybe he has some more gentle songs. Um, but I don't know them, so I don't know. I would feel maybe a bit silly reading them. I do make some edgy jokes, so I'm not always... Um, it's not always like I'm, I'm uh, so careful not to offend people. I just like say what I want to say about... Uh, um, anyways, but uh, yeah, I guess I won't read the lyrics. So look, Jenny's song, a joke. So I listened to a bit of, uh, I listened to a bit of K-pop. It stands for Korean Pop. Um, a K-pop group is a band, I'm um, sorry, a K-pop uh, band that uh, I listen to is Blackpink. They're very popular right now. One of Blackpink's members, Jenny, covered a song by uh, the music artist Mandy Moore. The song is called When Will My Life Begin? If you want to check it out, it's on YouTube. I thought that the lyrics were a little silly, to be honest. Even though the song sounds nice, I'm going to read the lyrics now and add my thoughts. I won't play the song to avoid um, copyright infringement and stuff like that. So, she says, at 7 a.m., the usual morning lineup. I start on the chores and sweep till the floors are the floors all clean. Polish and wax. Do laundry and mop and shine up. Sweep again. And by then, it's like 7.15. Um, I feel personally attacked. Um, how did she get that much stuff done in 15 minutes? If I can shave my face without looking that like I got caught in a bad neighborhood at night, then I feel like I've accomplished something in my day. Uh, next she says, and so I'll read a book or maybe two or three. <laughs> she reads three books per day. I'm starting to feel a bit worse about watching porn on a beautiful sunny day and accidentally coming on a half-completed job application that has been sitting on my desk for two weeks. I gotta print out a new one now, I guess. I, I can't submit that. I can't even read the previous work experience section. And then she says, I'll add a few new paintings to my gallery. A few new paintings. One isn't enough. A few means three, right? If I can make it through the day without getting my dick caught in my zipper and biting my own lip as I eat a TV dinner, I'm good. So, honestly, I don't find the song to be that motivational, but maybe it's just me. Um, it is a catchy song, though. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and tap the notification bell so you get these videos more easily. Okay, bye.